Let's get magically whisked away for this episode to Detroit. Yes, that's right. For all the new auto show debuts, I'll fill you in on what they are. Plus, let's get rid of your case of the Mondays, shall we? With some commenter of the week, AK. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and that's what's going to happen today right here on Fastlane Daily. Isn't that right, Erica? It's very right. Mm -hmm. After a few of them hung out at the CES show in Las Vegas, the rest of the new Mercedes-Benz E-Classes went over to Detroit. Yeah, it's completely redesigned and updated for the 2017 model year, and its styling is similar to the S-Class and C-Classes inside and out. Uh, the new E-Class will launch in the U.S. market with a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbo engine, making 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of that. Torque. Yes. More models will be the way, uh, more models will be uh, Coming. on their way yeah. in, the not too in the not too distant future. Something like that. Yeah. All 2017 Mercedes-Benz E-Class cars are made into a 9G Tronic 9-speed automatic transmission. They just keep adding more and more gears, it seems, you know? And 9G Tronic sounds like the name of a future boy band. Hey, what's up? We're 9G Tronic in our single Don't Tron on Me. Kind of sounds like a liquor. Me actually. Yeah, maybe. I said a future boy band, like in the future, future. Okay. We're 9G Tron. It's nine members. Like they're like. And their name all begins with G. Robot dance. It's like Greg, George, Gavin. Oh, G's. The G's. Yeah, I yeah. 9G Tronic. Jerry. Yeah. yeah. Jerry. I like Jerry. Uh, G Gary. Gary. Uh, if you want one, <laughs> not, not a 9G Tronic, if you want an E class, you can get one in the summer of this year. That's 2016. Yeah, I mean, the boy band hasn't been born yet. So. Yeah, yeah. He's not even, they're not even around. Yeah, but all their names begin with G. <laughs> Buick isn't the coolest brand on the market. I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves, okay, people? But I will say this. They definitely make some cool-ass looking concept cars. I mean, take a look at this thing, right? It's the new Avista concept, and it's got all kinds of sex appeal. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, if you remove the Buick logo, there is zero chance you would guess that that is a Buick. Seriously, come on. It's at the Detroit Auto Show, and it's a 2 plus 2 sports coupe based on a 110.7 inch wheelbase, which is the same as the Chevy Camaro, by the way. Uh, power comes from a twin turbocharged V6, cranking out 400 horsepower through the rear wheels. Yeah, it's an impressive concept. I say make it, Buick. The only thing you have to lose is some customers over the age of 65, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I say make it. Um, one of the most important debuts at the 2016 Detroit Auto Show is a minivan. Oh, that's right. Yeah, absolutely, friends. Meet the all-new 2017 Chrysler Pacifica, which will replace the popular Chrysler Town and Country. And for a minivan, it looks good, you know, if that's your kind of thing. The 2017 Pacifica rides on an all-new platform, but dimensionally, it's similar to the outgoing Town and Country. You have uh, two power options both using FCA's 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, but in the Pacifica Hybrid, you get a 16 kilowatt lithium ion battery that delivers up to 30 miles of electric driving range. Standard V6 will give you uh, 287 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. Torque is right, Erica. There's five trim levels. You got LX, Touring, Touring L, Touring L Plus, Limited, and of course, Platinum, because every lady at the PTA meetings will be swooning when you roll up all dad-like and say, yeah, I drive that Platinum Pacifica you see out there. Yeah, we're probably gonna take it to Disney, watch some <laughs> movies on the way. <laughs> Why don't you hop in the back? Uh, the 2017 Ford Fusion got a little bit of a facelift at the 2016 Detroit Auto Show, but that's not all. It also picked up some more power, and more interestingly, AWD. What's that stand for, Erica? All wheel drive. Sure does. That's right, the Ford Fusion Sport All Wheel Drive, a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 paired with a specially tuned six speed automatic transmission, giving you 325 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque. A lot of torques. I was about to say. It's yeah. A lot. Now, when it comes to its competitors, looking at you, Honda Accord, looking at you, Toyota Camry, the new Ford Fusion Sport All Wheel Drive straight up owns you. 
That's right. In the power department, that is. It's even more powerful than the 2016 BMW 340i. But here's my question. Why not call it the Ford Fusion ST? Right? Ford Fusion ST? Sure. Because if you ask... <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Finally. No crossover news in this one. Thank God. There it is. All right. Uh, AK, I'm going to ask you a question. Go for it. And I think you know the answer, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Do you know what time it is? It is commenter of the week time, Derek D. See, I knew you were going to know it. Commenter. Comments. Oh, thank you, AK. Nice. Uh, so last week, uh, remember we were talking about that Audi Fit driver system and how it will basically monitor you and adjust the car accordingly to whatever your stress level is or whatever. I mean, it might change the music, the lighting, the massager, I mean, all kinds of things. But uh, so FLT fan, Guy Spurnat, right here. <laughs> funny take. He had a funny take on what happened. Yeah, this guy, Spurnat. His last name. Uh, he said, imagine this scenario. You and your spouse are arguing in the car. The car detects the rising level of anxiety, turning on the radio with careless whisper, some mood lighting, and a, sh and a shoulder massage for the both of you. This can save lives. Winky face. Right. There you go. Now, guy may be onto something here. Not only can that save lives, but that could save your marriage. Maybe that's really what Audi has set out to do. Save marriages, one relationship at a time. I mean, this can set the mood. The fight has now calmed down. You pull into your driveway feeling relaxed. You and the wife get out feeling better about each other. You go inside, light some candles, make some babies. Kid grows up and eventually gets the Audi as his or her first car because of course they held on to it. They held on to that car because all those years, all of those years they held on to it because of the sentimental value of the car, changing the argument in the car about your mother-in-law, who is, of course, always in your business and never stops. And they changed it into the George Michael classic, Careless Whisper, you know. <laughs> we can't play it because of copyright, so I just whispered it. I mean, I just, <laughs> um, <laughs> not whispered it. What did I do? I whistled, yeah. <laughs> Which, of course, rekindled your love for each other and therefore saved your marriage for years to come. It's totally feasible. And that's why Audi made the Fit Driver system. They're hiding it under the, the, the name Fit Driver, but it's really to rekindle all these uh, lost relationships. But to clarify, last week I wasn't saying this technology was, bad idea, was a bad idea at all. I was just saying it should be called something else because it really isn't a fitness thing. It's a technology and safety thing. You know what I mean? That's what I'm getting at. Anyway, thanks for all the comments as usual, especially those rapid fire news comments. You guys recognized that I went in on that RFN and it's appreciated. So thank you very much for it. Every other comment on Friday's episode. Oh, Derek tore it up. Mm, yeah. Yep. yep. Best rapid fire news ever. A lot of pressure this Friday. Pressure's on. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we showed you that awesome Buick concept earlier. So our FLD question of the day is, do you think they'll actually make it or something similar to it? And will it sell to younger generations? You know, Buick kind of being, you know, older, it's a Buick, yeah. So let us know what you guys think. Hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can send your own in two. Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you, AK. And uh, that is gonna do it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D, but before we go, I'd like to pay tribute to the immortal David Bowie whose musical and artistic gifts influenced popular culture for decades. He was one of a kind. So we say, Godspeed, Major Tom. Ready, Kay? Mm. Yeah. David Bowie. Cancer also sucks. Yeah. Yep. Yep. F cancer. you, Cancer. Bye. I'll fill you in on what they are. Plus, let's grit. Let's grit. Completely redesigned and updated for the 2015 model year. Nope. <laughs> what year is it, Derek D? Why did I say 2015? I don't know. It says 2017 on the telephone. Monday. 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 Cut. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.